Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato. This is, of course, Civilization VI, playing, of course, as Nuclear India, although without nukes at the current moment. Um, things are going okay, actually. We recently raised a city over here, and I don't regret that. I don't regret that in the slightest. Uh, it was one of the better decisions that I think were made. We need to go here and build a mine because, of course, we are trying to get Petra up as quickly as possible possible because this is a city that it is really going to benefit uh, from Petra considering it's surrounded almost entirely by desert tiles. So very, very cool indeed and uh, look forward to getting that set up ASAP. Um, meanwhile, there is still a chance that we're going to go to war with Egypt because the AI is really shitty apparently. Um, and there's... Nothing that we can really do about it, unfortunately. Uh, we've got a fair bit. We've got a fair bit of faith. We should probably start spreading around Krabby McCrab face a little bit. I feel that that's probably a good move. I mean, this guy in the Congo, he's probably susceptible to Krabby McCrab face. I mean, can we have a look at all the religions here? Russia founded a religion. Russia doesn't exist anymore. We wrecked Russia. Uh, Islam unmet. Protestantism unmet. So. You're telling me that both and and Zoratra something is also unmet. Um, you're telling me that we have potential to win this because both Egypt and the Congo guy are completely influ a uh, completely it's completely possible to influence these guys with our religion because they have no religion uh, for themselves, which is great. Let's start buying shit tons of missionaries and we can only build two per turn, but you know. Again, I'll repeat, this is great news for us. This is really, really good. Um, let's try and accelerate our faith growth since uh, that's actually something that we could viably win with. I mean, I don't really want to end up winning with faith, but it's something that we could do. Let's try and get some of the basic stuff down in St. Petersburg. Uh, we're not at war with anybody at the moment, but... You're damned right we are going to be soon, though. Why? Because we always bloody are. Always at war. Perpetual war with uh, with my my neighbors. You are going to wreck me. I'm going to back out of there. There's no point in fighting that. There is no point. Uh, we'll dispatch you over to this area. I still think that there is some shenanigans going on over there. And I just, I don't really want to, I don't really want to be caught off guard. So we're going to do our very best. 29 turns to build Petra. It's a, it's a big commitment, which is exactly why I want to get this, this mine set up. Uh, pretty much as soon as possible, really. Um, the more production, the better. Hey, we just go wherever there's a mixture of money and trouble. Oh, all right, that's great. What do we get? Uh, professional army, fifty percent discount on all unit upgrades. Yields gained from pillaging are doubled for pillaging districts. Plus one culture and plus one science from international trade routes. We have one trade route, and it's not international. It's worthless. Plus two production right here. Beautiful. Now I just want to check that we're actually working this tile. Yeah, I reduced it to twenty-eight turns. An extra two, an extra two production is nothing to be sniffed at. Although I am a little bit disturbed that it only, it only, it only gained us one turn, so to speak. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try and explore a little bit of this place. Um, you're gonna go on fortify until you're healed. In fact, no, you can just take a promotion. Yeah, what? Why did that work? I don't know why that didn't work, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not super concerned about my own religions getting to my own cities. I mean, that's going to happen. So, let's just try and branch out. There is a settler over there. I feel so sorry for that dude. Let's try and capture a little bit of Egypt. That is actually the capital of Egypt. Like, holy shit, I did not think that that was the capital. But, okay, I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine. And let's get you to go over here, I guess. Yeah, and then we're probably instantly going to faith purchase again, just because we can. It was the wrong place to click, but, you know, knew pretty much what I was doing. I'm going to insta faith purchase and make sure that we can uh, spread as fast as possible. Yeah, so there are shenanigans going on over there, which is, is very worrying. Uh, let's try and change the government, if at all possible. We cannot upgrade to the monarchy quite yet, and if we could, if we, if we could upgrade to that, then that'd be, that'd be really, really good. We're actually on it next. Merchant Republic is next, so... Yeah, looking forward to getting that set up as soon as possible, actually. 
alliance. We can get an alliance with people. I don't think that that's really going to work so well. Let's put you on fortify. Um, and let's change our government. Is that a classical light units? No, we can change this around a little bit. I did quite like one of the ones that we got, the new ones. The 50% discount on all unit upgrades. I do like that, actually. I do like that because we've got a lot of um, potential crossbowmen sitting by. And that's only going to cost 100 gold to upgrade rather than the 200 gold, which, uh, you know, was initially anticipated. Uh, what tile are we currently working at the moment? We're currently working that tile. Obviously, that's the best one to work. Uh, I think we probably want something that's a little bit more production oriented so we're going to set you to head on over to here and build a mine on that hill so that we can actually have decent levels of production create with the heart build with the mind create with the heart build with the mind siege tower and the terracotta army both middlingly interesting not really that bothered to be honest okay let's see what we can do build an aqueduct i do really want to build an aqueduct uh, have a government with six policy slots we're not going to get that for a couple turns yet, so that's not a great thing. Kill a unit with a spearman. Um, I guess we'll get military tactics purely because I know, I know, no, 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 that I can absolutely boost a bunch of this stuff because I do want to build an aqueduct. Like, that's definitely happening. That is absolutely certainly happening, so... Okay. We just need to, you know, we need to be aware of it. Uh, so the builder, we're going to want the builder to come on over here and improve this tile. 22 turns. 22 turns. That, 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 that did shorten. That shortened by like five turns. So that's actually really good. You're going to take a promotion, even though you didn't want to take it last turn. Uh, plus five strength versus range units. Sure. And you, one of the new missionaries, going to come over to this city over here. I, I do quite like that we've got this this nice road. I like the system of roads in this game. Like it's much, it's much better. Uh, and you can come over there. Yeah, good idea. Darn good idea, chaps. Barbarians approach. That is somewhat problematic. We shall retreat. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do a ranged attack. We could upgrade to crossbowmen. Uh, although I'd rather just keep my gold. Like I'm. I'm, I'm not exactly uh, profitable, so to speak, in terms of gold at the moment. It's a little bit of a, a flaw in our problem. We're investing quite heavily right now. All right, new city-state quest. You've met a new city-state. Oh, fantastic. That's great. That, that gives me somewhere to send my, uh, send my envoys. Convert the city-state to your religion. Dude, that is... Funny you should ask, right? Funny you should ask. Let's start sticking a bunch of envoys into uh, into that area. And let's go back and let's faith purchase a bunch more missionaries. And we'll dispatch them over the course of the next couple of turns. Uh, let's get a granary in St. Petersburg. We just want the basics, as I, as I already said. Uh, we just want the basics. Wait, I was clicking on a heavy chariot there, and I could have sworn I could have upgraded it. All right, you are going to build a mine there. Perfect. Could have sworn a heavy chariot could have been upgraded to a knight for 90 gold. That's a bargain. That's really, really cheap, actually. Let's head on over here. The barbarian camp should be cleared up. That's great. Indeed it is. New city state quest. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, all right. This is... This is all right, you know? This is all right. I'm actually pretty happy with the, with the way in which things are going. You're going to fortify... You can continue exploring. Maybe we find another city-state, if we're lucky. This guy's probably building Petra. And if he's not building Petra, he should be building Petra. Like, it's absolutely imperative for him. Okay, trading post created. Uh, great. Perfect. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, let's work on that farm. Good, 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 good. Looks like Egypt is going to do something or other. I don't quite know what they're going to do yet, but they're definitely they're definitely fishy enough for me to warrant uh, keeping all of my troops around here, which is what I'm going to do anyway. Um, all of my troops can probably do with thank god it's not fucking Petra. That's all I'm saying. Thank god it's not Petra. 
Because if it was Petra, then uh, that might warrant a restart. No, it, it probably doesn't warrant a restart, but it's big enough to seriously, seriously piss me off. All right, let's try and get three production from districts in St. Petersburg. Yeah, let's get, let's get this. Let's begin this route. Perfect. We can actually start building a new road, and that should further shorten the time that it takes to build Petra. Now we're down to 18 turns. That's... That's good, right? That's that's really good, but it's not it's not quite good enough. I'm going to purchase that tile. Maybe a little bit preemptive, but we're going to build a mine on this because it's really 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 vitally important. Like I cannot stress enough how important it is that we get Petra. It really is vital. Spread religion over here. You are going to be coming all the way up to the city of Mohenjo Daro. Oh, and also Nan Madol. What's this? Quest, train a pikeman military unit. Uh, Congo is also influential over these guys as well. That is potentially troublesome. So we need to train a pikeman. And we also need to spread religion to this city as well. Why? Because we want to do that. I, because, it, I don't know, it'll, it'll help propagate religion further, I guess. Okay, you're going to come down here. You're going to come over here, and you are also going to come this way and try and deal with these spearmen. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit of a bad matchup because spearmen do not face up well against horses. Or, well, spearmen do face well up against horses, but horses don't face well up against spearmen. So that's a little bit unfortunate that we're going to have to send those guys over there, but whatever. So, two new city-states. A wonder that was completed. Doesn't really matter. Lots of good stuff happened in this turn. And uh, I'm sure that there's more stuff that's going to happen. Uh, and Pikeman is going to be coming along very, very soon indeed. Fingers crossed we'll be able to get our religion over here. And also to that... Is that Egypt? Or is that some other dude? Dad, I think that's actually some other dude. Shit. I did not know that they were that close. Um, that's kind of crazy, actually. Where did all of my money go? Uh, I lost 100 money. Did I use it for something? I honestly, for the life of me, cannot remember. Okay, let's get another spread. Crab McCrab face. Is it going to replace you over there? No, unfortunately not. Alright, well, let's see. Okay, nothing of interest up there. I mean, I say nothing of interest. There's obviously stuff of interest, but not anything else of interest, so to speak. Uh, I might actually just build a scout and see if we can get a little bit of information off. I don't expect this city to be uh, around forever, but we might as well, you know? It might as well. It's not exactly hurting anyone. It's growing at a nice, decent rate, so that's fine. Uh, yep, let's just keep you moving on down here. Archer, you can fall back to this position because we're just expecting Cleopatra to attack us at some point. You can spread your religion to there. Bingo, bingo, bingo. And uh, we'll go to the next turn. Man, I just, I love turn-based games. They really are great. Love me some turn-based games. Uh, need more housing. Maduria needs more housing. Ooh. Great, we boosted this. I'm very glad. Uh, Maduria needs more housing, apparently. Doesn't need more housing yet, per se, but it will need more housing in the future. That's what you're trying to tell me, video game, isn't it? That's what you're trying to tell me. All right, what do we need? We do want an aqueduct, actually. Cities that do not... Must be built adjacent to the city center. And we can't build it on any of these tiles. That's actually horrifically bad. We could build it in Calcutta, I think. Could build it here. That would be really good. But we can't. We can't. We've got Petra to do. We've got Petra to do. We've got Petra to do. Uh, and Maduria, we also could do that. It'd take 19 turns, though. It would help speed things up, as in it would help boost the technology, and it would make Maduria go faster. Plus, we do need housing over here. Yeah, I guess we'll get it after the commercial hub. Yeah, yeah, why not? That seems completely reasonable for me. Uh, or to me, should I say. Uh, Hagia Sophia, no, not really that bothered. Probably gonna need some more units, but I don't really want to pay the upkeep. Like, we're, we're already losing a significant amount of money. Requires 10 population or greater for a commercial district. How are we building a commercial hub? Over here. That doesn't make sense. Um, 
Ancient walls, water mill, water mill. Come on, it's got to be a water mill. How have we not built a water mill already? That really is stupid. Uh, water mill as well. I mean, water mills are the most amazing thing in the world. Plus two production. Great, great, great. Let's get yet more archers involved in this mess. Uh, now, let me go about changing things here. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty much what I want, actually. So that should further shorten Petra down. So it's going to go from 16 turns to presumably something less. Let's hold on to your upgrade because we can probably get away with it. You're going to spread your religion. Crabby McCrab faces. It's, it's being big. It's being, it's being spread. It's becoming big. It's also being big because that's what I definitely meant to say. Uh, can we get over here? Is this Egypt? I think this is actually Egypt. It looked white on the map, but... Yeah, it's definitely Egypt. A little bit of a shame. Doesn't particularly matter, though. Alright, any more shenanigans up here? Nope, nothing as of yet. Ah, shit, I should have probably bought some uh, some missionaries. But I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're making so much faith per turn anyway, it's... Uh, it's, it's, actually, it's actually probably pretty bad for us not to buy missionaries. Because at this point... Units like scout. Yes, of course, this is, I know about scouts, dude. Uh, can we just, like, get you to come out here and capture this settler? Is that actually going to work? Uh, builder, you can now go and work on... Okay, so that took it from 16 turns to 13 turns. So we basically saved two turns for, for getting that improvement. That's pretty good. Um, I don't really want to build a step well here because all of these... Well, I guess a step well over here would be all right. Um, we'll take you into the city, and then we'll probably just let you sleep for a little bit. Uh, what do we want up here? Anything of particular interest to us? No. No, not at all. Commercial hub. I do, I do want a commercial hub. Plus one trade route capacity. That's really good. It's really, really good for us. Get us plus two gold. Campus. There's so many districts that I want to build up here, but it's not it's not worth improving this area substantially. Like we shouldn't we shouldn't invest a lot of time and energy into this area. Although I suppose we probably could, right? Like sure, a commercial hub. Eh, uh, sure, whatever. Let's get a commercial hub. Uh we'll get rid of this tile. Yeah, we'll do that. And you can continue on rounds. You can go up here, and you can continue bombarding the good old uh, swordmen or whatever they're called. Oh, swordsmen—they are called. They all—they are called swordsmen. Uh, we get a major victory on this chump. If we take an upgrade, we should probably take an upgrade after we get beaten down by the the spearmen, which will inevitably happen. Not even able to finish the scout in one turn. That's a little bit embarrassing. Abydos. That's, that's alright. It's a decently sized. Respectable. Again, forgetting to build the, uh... The stinking... Whatever you call it. You know what I mean. Hey, great. Forgetting to build the mercenaries. So, my religion must be influential over you, right? If we go to religion... Yeah, one of yeah, one out of seven civs converted to Krabby McCrab face. Mr. Congo over here. That's actually remarkably remarkably easy to do. Remarkably easy to do. Let's get some faith purchases. We can actually purchase apostles now. Now we don't actually need any apostles quite yet, because all that we've come across is people without religions, and you generally only need apostles, I think, when you're coming across people that actually have religions and they want to fight you. And that is you know, that's not good. You are going to go to sleepy sleep. Indeed you are. You're going to come across here and we're going to try our very best to fuck some shit up in technical terms. Uh, let's see if we can capture this. Wow. Wow, that's unbelievable. I I just captured a settler. Well, we now have a we now have a uh, we now have an extra settler. That's that's actually kind of bonkers. 
Um, the crazy thing is, is that I don't really need nor want another settler right now. I mean, I guess... I guess if you had to force me, I'd love to get a coastal town just over here somewhere. That'd be really, really nice. Uh, let's get that linked up, and then... Let's get you to head... Maybe here would be a nice place. I mean, it's on the coast. I do like the idea of crabs. Like, crabs would get us shit tons of money. And even, like, here, I think, would be probably best, right? We'll give it a shot. We'll, uh... We'll tell them to move down. I'll queue up the order. And fingers crossed it actually works. Uh, okay, let's get the bombard on. Let's get the bombard on. Good stuff. Yep, you are fortified, so a little bit less damage, but, you know, whatever. Every little helps. Uh, and let's send this missionary over here. We've only got one spread left on this guy, so it's not exactly a... You know, it's not great value for money, but it's good enough. Crab McCrab. Orthodoxy. Where are you getting orthodoxy from? That's very interesting. We don't know who created orthodoxy, do we? Or was it... No, that was Russia, wasn't it? I think it was Russia that created orthodoxy, and then they just, like, we obviously own Russia's ass, so that's the wrong... the wrong area. Yeah, Eastern Orthodoxy, that was Russia. Okay, so that explains why, uh... why that's still slightly followed over there. If I have... Yeah, no, there's zero orthodoxy even in the Russian capital. In the ex-Russian capital, should I say. I don't know where I clicked you to, but over here is where you're going. Uh, and this other missionary... Send you, like, up there. Go and explore the world, buddy. Go and explore the world. Again, let's just keep on bombarding the, uh, the enemy barbs. And keep on moving around so that we can, uh, discover a little bit more here and there. Oh, we've actually already got a missionary over here. That's great. Perfect. Never better. I think this- Oh, Whoops. Uh, this might actually be the entire continent because there- there is two continents, I think. And we are obviously on one of them. And it looks like if this is it, like if there, if it, you know, maybe goes up a little bit here. I mean, there's lots of free space, right? So there's got to be another continent, like right here. Thought. Well, right Tactics here. Require observation. Oh, great. Okay. Pikeman, which is actually really important because that's one of the missions that we need to do. Um... Potato Palace. It's not exactly what it says, but, you know, that's what I'll take it as meaning. Uh, have the civics... Have the, the guild's civics. Do we have the guild's civics? I mean, obviously, we don't have the guild's civics. Merchant Republic is what we want, and then I guess we'll take into guilds. Sure. Castles. Have we boosted anything here? Build two universities? We can't build two universities in 12 turns. I just want to make, you know, I want to be as efficient as possible. Uh, build a university adjacent to a mountain to boost astronomy. Uh, that's possible, actually. I mean, there's one turn left on the watermill in Delhi. If we build a university straight away, then we might actually be able to take advantage of that. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we're going to give you a promotion. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. Just a little bit of HP, pretty much all we need. In fact, is that enough? No, in fact, we can't attack anyway. I was a way to say, is it enough to take out the enemy? And I don't think it is. Okay, found a barbarian camp. I'm not really that bothered about barbarian camps. Like, you know, they're just this reoccurring problem that we seem to be coming up against. But, you know, that's to be expected, I guess, isn't it? Okay, a lot of stuff completing over the next couple of turns. We've got the commercial hub, which is finishing up. Uh, we've got the water mill that's finishing up, and the water mill that's finishing up over there. Good, good, good. You can go there. Don't get yourself captured by the barbarians. And I think that that is a good, as good a place as any to wrap things up. So, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Civilization VI. Playing, of course, as Nuclear India without the nukes quite yet, but, you know, we're getting there. Um... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.